Welcome back, my fellow extraction enthusiasts. We are back this week with some more educational content to help my fellow vapors out. And we are going to talk about convection versus conduction and why you would want one over the other and which one is for who. So let's go ahead and jump right into it. Convection versus conduction. The easiest way to kind of understand these two objects in our everyday life is convection, essentially an air fryer. Conduction, essentially the pan on your stove. Let's talk about how each one works and then we'll talk about why you would choose one over the other. So the way that you know that you're using convection is you'll have a chamber with the flour or material that you're consuming and then you will have a heat source typically above the chamber with your material. And that heat source is gonna be really hot at vaporization temperature or actually a lot of the times just above it. It's gonna pull that air through the source to heat the air over your flour and material to heat the crystals on the outside of your flour and material for vaporization and then travel into your lungs. You're gonna find convection in a lot of desktop ball vapes like the screw ball as the main drive of how they work. And then you'll have conduction. The way you know you're using conduction is typically all of the heat is fed directly towards the housing that has your material inside of it. So this is gonna be something more similar to like a Dynavap where there is a little bit of convection from the air going up the sidewalls and into the chamber. A lot of the heat comes from conduction. And conduction is when you take the heat source and you heat up metal like a bowl or your frying pan, and then the frying pan or the bowl via contact then gets your material hot. And then you'll draw air over the material, which is already at vaporization temperature to get the vaporization to happen and into your lungs. Convection is mainly heat via air. Conduction is mainly heat via contact. And even though these seem very similar, you get a lot different of an experience from each one. So now that we've talked about how each one works, let's talk about why you would choose one over the other and who it's for. So with convection, you're gonna get a lot of airflow. And not only a lot of airflow, you're gonna get a lot of vapor that's not as dense. For people like me who have very very poor lungs or for those of us that really like flavor or these just huge tons of vapor hits convection is going to be the way to go conduction you're going to get a much hotter situation with much denser vapor and bigger hits for those people that like to ride the line and really enjoy that combustion feeling conduction is going to be more in your zone and while a lot of the devices that we have nowadays kind of float the line between convection and conduction, like the Dynavap is mostly conduction, but the air coming up through the caps is convection and stuff like the Anvil, or uh, if we're talking desktop vapes, with the diffusers, it's definitely all convection. With the injectors, you do get a little bit more of that conduction feeling because the injector is gonna heat the bowl up just a little more. And you can, push one to do the other. Like if you take your convection ball vape head like a screw ball and you leave it sitting on the bowl, you'll get a hybrid convection conduction because the bowl now is going to get hot, which is going to give you your conduction. And then all of the air that you pull over is going to be convection. So you can really play with the sciences here to dial in a hit that you like. Or with something like the new Simrel vape, he gives you the option to either do conduction or convection depending on where you heat it on the cap. So these these are some really cool little science quirks that we get in our community and stuff that's really fun to dial in and play with as you dive deeper into what devices you like. If you have any questions about convection or conduction or want to know any more topics like this, feel free to drop it in the comments and let me know. But for now, that wraps it up for this hot topic of convection and conduction. As always, thanks for watching and stay lifted. Psst. Come hang out with us on Discord. Head over to my website to pick up some awesome stickers to support this channel.